www.businesstraining.com. Globally recognized 100% online business training and certification programs completed in five months. Hello, it's Richard Wilson, and today we're going to provide a summary of this book, Secrets of Peak Performers. And this is by uh, Dan Kennedy, Bill Blazer, and Lee Manier. And this is a really good book uh, because you can read it in one day. Um, I read it in two or three hours. It's really short. You can flip through it really quick. And using this book summary, you can actually uh, read the book even quicker because I'm going to tell you what chapters are the most valuable. Um, sometimes I go to Barnes & Noble, read two or three chapters of a book. If I love it, I buy it. If I don't, you know, I just try to pick out the best two or three chapters, and that way you get the value of the book pretty quickly. Um, in this case, it is a good book. Um, I do believe you should buy it. And, but right now, I'm going to go through the top three chapters or ideas within this book so that everybody can benefit from it, whether you have time to read this book or not. Um, to start with, um, Dan Kennedy's books are generally very easy to read. Uh, his style of writing makes it really easy to consume the material, and um, that's part of the reason why you know he's so popular and the advice he gives is so well received. Um, the first chapter that we're going to discuss is Success is a Verb. And the reason I like this chapter is that just the title of the chapter provides the reader some benefit. A lot of people think of like, I want to be successful one day, or you know, I wonder what I have to do to reach success, or you know, what do I have to do to make more money or to get the job, and they consider that success. Um, but what Dan Kennedy is saying here is that success is really what you're doing every day, and it's your habits, your actions, you know, how you hold yourself and how you you know, look at the world and how you interact with everybody around you. So basically what he's saying here is that, you know, part of acting successful is having a conducive work environment, being physically fit and capable, improving your intellectual capability, uh, gaining the information you need, being organized, working hard, leveraging your time, leveraging others, um, having a tolerance for pain, and having beneficial association. So those are a list of things you can do to you know, act successful or be a success by the way that you act. The next idea in here I wanted to go over were the, uh, the three tips by Bill Glazer on how to maximize your peak performance. And basically what, uh, what Bill is discussing in this chapter is how to you know, perform at your highest and his top three tips for doing so. His first tip is to work hard, smart. And what he means by that is that, you know, if you're working hard in your business, then make sure you're focused on the right things. So it's really coming back to kind of a Stephen Covey, first things first type idea, where, you know, he's saying that if you have limited time and lots of opportunities or lots of challenges, and everybody has either lots of opportunities and lots of challenges, and, you know, your time is worth money to you, then make sure you're focusing that time on your most important activities. Lots of people spend time you know, washing the car, or answering emails, or doing something they could hire someone else to get help with, or they could ignore, it's not really a top priority. Just do that once every two or three weeks, instead of once every week, and then focus on the big goals and priorities uh, for most of the time. The second tip in here is to be more systematic in everything you do. Uh, systematize your processes, whether it's applying for jobs, whether it's completing your tasks at work, if it's starting new products in your business, if it's maintaining great customer service, if it's delivering a product to your customers, whatever you do, you know, you can follow a system. I think it was Deming that said if you can't document the system of how something's done, you don't really understand it. And I think that by documenting it, not only can you understand it, but you can constantly improve it, and it just makes it so you can easily train others to follow it, and just makes it easier for you know, your career or business to move forward. And then the third tip here by Bill is to actually outsource more work uh, than you're used to doing. To move outside your comfort zone, you know, and outsource the watering of your, your grass or flowers, outsource lawn mowing, to outsource $10 and $15 an hour type activities in your business or your life so that you don't spend your free time always picking up dry cleaning and going to pick up food and going to the grocery store. And you could spend more of your time, you know, reading books like this um, or completing training programs, or networking with valuable professionals, or creating your own career plan or business plans. Uh, there's many high, higher value activities, and 
everybody, including myself, I think has trouble delegating some of these things. You think, oh, I can easily do that. Why would I pay somebody else to do it? But eventually, as you move up higher in your career in business, you're going to realize that your time is worth real money. And even if you could spend some of that time relaxing and rejuvenating your mind and just recovering from working all week or all day, that's going to be more beneficial to you than always being busy uh, doing these other things. It'll just get you burnt out faster. So those are the three top tips from Secrets of Peak Performers. Um, I really recommend this book. It's a great book, and I hope you enjoyed this book summary. Thank you.